Okay, let's do this problem together. It says ammonia and sulfuric acid to re react to form ammonium sulfate. Write an equation for the reaction. Okay, so that's the first part of this problem. So you have to know what these things are. So ammonia is NH3, and I'm going to put it in the gaseous form. Okay, and then I'm going to react that with sulfuric acid. And we're also just going to put that in the gaseous form. So we can think of this as kind of like a high temperature reaction. And that's going to form, what, ammonium sulfate. So the ammonium ion is NH4 plus, okay? And the sulfate ion is SO42 minus. So ammonium sulfate is NH42 SO4, okay? But if you look at that, right, how many nitrogens do we have here? Two. On this side, we only have one, right? So in order to balance this equation, we're going to have to put two there, okay? So the second part of this uh, problem says, determine the starting mass in grams of each reactive if 20 grams of ammonium sulfate is produced. So the mass of ammonium sulfate is 20.3 grams. And um, the mass of sulfuric acid remaining is 5.3 eight, nine grams. So the starting mass of each reactant. Okay, so this tells us that ammonia was the limiting reagent. Why? Because there's still sulfuric acid left over. Okay? So that means uh, the amount of uh, ammonium sulfate came directly from the amount of ammonia, okay? So let's just figure out what I'm talking about. So the mass of ammonium sulfate is 20.3 um, grams, so NH42SO4. So I want to figure out the number of moles, okay? So so I can use the balanced reaction equation. So the number of moles of ammonium sulfate. Okay. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to um, use the um, periodic table to figure out the molar mass of ammonium sulfate. Okay. So let's do that together. Get my periodic table out here. So what 
what am I looking for? I'm looking for the, the mass of the restarting materials, not the number of moles of the product, though, right? So, <coughs> let's erase this and figure out, well, what is the number of moles of ammonia? Because that's the limiting reagent. That's what I'll be able to find from this. Okay, well, can I get that through the balanced reaction equation? Can I get it through the balanced reaction equation? Yes. 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 So how many moles of ammonium sulfate to moles of ammonia? Uh, two, one, two, one. Uh-huh. Well, one to two, the way I said it, but yeah. you get it. Like that. Okay. So is that what we wanted? The number of moles of ammonia? No. We wanted the what? The grams. The mass. Yeah, the grams. So what do we do? Well, we're going to have to figure out, well, what's the molar mass of ammonia? So 
0.03, divide that by 2, multiply that by 98.09. <coughs> so that <coughs> is 15 point, let's see, so 3, so 15.1 grams of sulfuric acid, right? But it said that the mass of sulfuric acid that we had left over was 5.89, right? So the mass total, so this would be the mass that was reacted. mass reactive. So the mass total of sulfuric acid is going to equal the mass reactive plus the mass left over. So we got 15.1 grams plus 5.89 grams So 21.0 grams of sulfuric acid last we started with. So the two numbers that we're looking for were those two numbers. Is that a question from Alan? Should we kill it? <laughs> <laughs>